Would you like to design your FTTH network faster and more accurately? Should your design be optimized hence less expensive when it enters the construction phase? Would you like to explore more different design options before you choose the right one? Yes, take a short journey with me and I will show you how to do all those things using Innova Teleked GIS software. All it takes is 5 steps. And by the way, those steps are all automated. You'll have your network ready before you know it. Before you start with the design process you'll need some input data. The first thing to do is to get routes and subscribers data into your drawing. Acquisition of these kinds of data is always preceded by some kind of fieldwork. Whatever survey method is used, like GPS burn measurement, total station theodolite survey or even aerial imagery, Telecad GIS is able to import provided data and to convert them into its own format which is DWG based. Once the data is in place you can start designing your network. As mentioned before, the design process goes through five steps which are highly automated. Nevertheless, in each step, you are given the opportunity to influence the final outcome by making changes along the way. This way you will have full control over the design while letting the program do all the heavy work for you. The whole process revolves around hierarchy of network elements. In other words, topology. Once the topology is sorted out, everything else easily falls into place. Telecad GIS can help you organize subscriber network interface devices or NIDs into clusters. At the same time, it shall propose optimal locations for fiber concentration points or FCPs from which those NIDs are to be fed. The first thing to do is to tell the program what is the minimum and maximum number of NIDs per cluster that you want. These numbers are usually based on the capacity of FCPs that are to be used in the design. In our case we shall use FCPs that contain splitters with a splitting ratio of 1 to 32 so the maximum number of subscriber NIDs is going to be 32. That's it. Clusters are generated and optimal locations for FCP are proposed. You can accept proposed arrangement and generate cluster regions together with FCPs. Generated regions can still be manually edited while FCPs can be manually relocated if needed. Automatically generated FCPs don't have their internal structure. In other words, they don't have patch panel connectors or splitters. There are many ways to define internal structure of many different elements in Telecad GIS including manual approach. However, the fastest way to do so is to create a template and to apply it to as many objects in the drawing as you want. Simply create internal structure of one FCP. Save it as a template and then apply it to all other FCPs. This dramatically saves the time. In order to connect elements of the network, the program needs to know hierarchical position of every element in that network. Some hierarchical relations have already been defined but not all. For example, through the process of clustering, relations between NIDs and FCPs have already been established but we still haven't said what feeds the entire network, or if we wanted to treat all clusters as a part of one cable serving area or we wanted to divide them into two or more cable-serving areas. This requires few more manual steps. First, you will create a cable-serving area and define its source of supply. In this case ODF in the central office is the source of supply.
Next, relocate cluster areas so that they become sub-elements of cable serving area. Source of supply for each cluster is also already known because it was defined through previous process of clustering in step 2. That does it. Hierarchical structure or the network topology as we otherwise call it, is defined. We can proceed to the next step. Cables can be automatically laid across the entire network or just segments of it. We indicate this by checking the boxes in front of the network branches. ONC we start with automatic cable laying process. The program will lead us through its steps. First, it will detect splices and ask us if we want to use or ignore them. I place these strategically so I can use them in this network. So yes, we shall keep them. Here we can see the proposed network hierarchy which corresponds to the cables and network nodal elements displayed on the site plan drawing. If needed, disposition of the cables or the hierarchical structure of the network can be adjusted. Keep in mind that this is just a proposal. None of the actual cables are generated so far. Another thing we need to do is to define the capacities of cables. This is always complemented with the definition of cable's internal construction. In other words, cable type. Each cable capacity is determined based on the total demand of sub-elements it feeds. The cables are taken from the cable catalog, however only those cables that are on the favorites list are considered. This way you control which cables are to be used in the final network design. Now we choose whether we want to splice all the fibers, or we just want to generate the cables. We could leave splicing for later but this time we shall splice them right away. Everything is already prepared and we could just accept proposed fiber plan. However, here as well we can make some additional adjustments. We could rearrange the order of splicing by sorting out network elements, or we could demand additional spare fibers on any network element. No matter what we choose to do the program shall analyze the impact of our actions and display warnings so we can make corrections in order to make valid network connections. After this we can generate our FTTH network. The network has been generated. We can now use some of the many Telecad GIS tools to get more insight in our network. Telecad GIS is a very versatile software when it comes to dealing with telecommunications infrastructure. It has many tools that shed the light on your network from different angles. At the same time, all infrastructure data is in one place. We call it single source of data. This ensures that any subsequent change made to the infrastructure automatically affects different elements of your project such as print layouts or reports. Use Telecad GIS to skip tedious parts of your job and unleash your creativity.